Once upon a video, oh one. Today I will be showing you how to make these really cool recycled toilet paper roll flowers. Hey everybody, for today's project you will need two toilet paper rolls, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. To create the toilet paper flowers, first you are going to want to take the toilet paper rolls and cut both of them directly across. Once you cut them in half, you will have four little tubes that look like this. Next step is to get your pencil and draw like little like petals, I can I would say petals so that it kind of looks like this. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, so once you, you're going to draw petals, any kind of shape that you want on all of the toilet paper rolls. As you can see here, I finished um, drawing all my designs onto the toilet paper rolls. And they're kind of messy, but it's okay because you can always clean it up when you're cutting them. And I also outlined them in Sharpie so you guys can see. But you actually don't have to do that. So next step is going to be cutting out the petals. So you're going to want to cut out the petals. And it's going to kind of form like a little crown type thing, but try to do this carefully and neatly because this is going to be what the shape of your flowers are going to look like. Or the petals, I mean. So, start cutting. And this is kind of what you're going to want to do between all the petals. Like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so as I was cutting, I kind of realized that it was pretty difficult to cut. So what you want to do is cut down the middle or cut it so that it's open and not close, like, like this. Because you're going to end up doing this step anyways, and it just makes it easier to cut the petals. Okay, so I finished cutting the second one. And as you can see, I kind of like bent the edges to give it like a more realistic look, I guess you can say. But then the last one, you're going to want to leave it closed since, if it, since it's going to be your outer flower. And you want it all to hold together. So I'm going to cut that one too. Okay, so after you do the last one, well, I decided not to do the um, all four because it doesn't really fit too well. So after you do the last one, you're going to want to like bend the flowers over depending on like how much you want it bent. So it's like this instead of up like that. Unless you want it like that, then you can leave it like that. Then you're also going to want to trim the edges because it might be a little messy because cutting with these little scissors is kind of hard, but you might have big scissors. I don't know. Well, anyways, you're going to want to cut it and trim it to how you like it because these are going to be your petals of the finished product. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I finished trimming all the flowers to how I like it. And I kind of left it a little messy because I kind of like it that way. I don't really know why, but I think it looks like cool that way. So you're going to want to take the outer one, the probably the biggest one you have, and you're going, the closed one actually, and you're going to want to leave it there. That's going to be your like your outer layer. And you're going to want to take like the second biggest one or yeah and you're going to want to overlap the edges so that it fits inside of the outer one like this and you're going to want to take your center one probably the smallest one overlap that too and put it in the middle so it looks like that it will mostly stay together but if you're like wanting it to be very sturdy when you assemble it and you overlap it Put a dot of hot glue right there and overlap it like that. And it will stay like this. But I didn't have any glue on me right now. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And that is your finished product for a recycled toilet paper flower thingy. Okay, bye. Tune into our videos next Wednesday.